<laughs> hey, Instagram. It's me, T, from the Patterson's Taking the Train to Tibet. Yeah, it's just Thursday. I think it's Thursday. So therefore, we talk about audio drama on Thursday. Every day is something different. Like, uh, like on Mondays, it's... Uh, I forgot what it is on Mondays. Oh, Mondays is about me. Tuesdays is about uh, U.S. politics. Uh, Wednesdays is about world politics. Thursdays is about audio drama. My favorite t- uh, uh, topic. Uh, Thurs- uh, Fridays is our sort of wrap-up, whatever it is. Wrap- week wrap-up. And Saturdays and Sundays, we don't know what we talk about on Instagram. Anyway, um, my bell's palsy is still being addressed. Now, how, much, how much long is this going to be? We don't know. Anyway, audio drama. Hey, let's get to audio drama. Uh, I want to give it an incident, incident, a situation where it was like, it was amazing. Uh, about, when was that, 2007, 2008, I don't know, some, somewhere, south, it was someplace back back then, in the, in the mid-2000s. Uh, uh, and I took a trip on Robos Rail. Now, Robos Rail is, a, is like the luxury rail thing. You know, you got, you got the, the blue train, you got the uh, classic premiere, you got the social over, whatever that is, and then you have the luxury, like... Uh, it's like um, a Robles Rail is like uh, the, the Orient Express or something like that. You know, it's really luxurious. Well, brother, how do well? First of all, like trains. It's a train ride. They're like trains. That's one thing. And then the other thing, I saved up for it. I just kept on playing in the stores, stores until I could make the trip. Okay. But what's interesting is that oh, and it's, it's, it, I call it the booze cruise for middle aged people on the rail. The rail cruise for middle aged people because whatever they ask you, what you eat. Would, would you have any preferences, blah, blah, blah. I tell them, well, I, I just do uh, organic wine, you know. So they gave me, they got a case of white organic and a case of red organic just for me. Don't give me, I, I can share with other people. But, but they got it specifically for my request. That's the only thing I actually, I, what to tell you the truth, they said something, so I just say, well, you know me, I always got to say, I got to go, blah, blah, blah. So I just said, I just said the first thing that came to my mind, didn't matter to me. Anyway, what's interesting, you know, you get your own compartment, blah, blah, blah. Um, you have a, you know, have, I don't know what you call a valet, a person that's a steward or something like that, that, that caters to your thing, you know, they didn't make it better for all that stuff, right? And then what's interesting about, oh, uh, the, the the trip, at least when I took it, I guess they must still have it. Uh, the common areas, there's no devices in the common areas. You have to, it's, it's the, they call it the bygone days. That's code, bygone days. Anyway, the bygone days, where you can, where you have to basically talk to other passengers, or talk, you know, uh, you can't be distracted in the common areas. I mean, in your room or whatever you do, whatever it is. And then uh, they have a, a caboose, you know, an end car, which has, which is like the booze car again, you know. Oh, by the way, you, you pay, and then that's it. You don't have to pay anything else. They have the best food, unbelievable. The best food. At least they, I, I got to take it. Uh, uh, in a few years, I got to really get the money together again. And to take the wife in. We gotta go. Um, anyway, uh, uh, and, and so, but, but it's so organized. It's amazing. Uh, now, there's a guy. Uh, let's call him Joe. No, he's a he's also a guy. The guy that runs it, uh, uh, the, the Robos Rail guy. You know, they built the, the Robos. The white guy, and, and, and Robos Rail is named after his son and his daughter. Somehow it goes. Anyway, I don't get into all that. You can look it up. R O V O S. R O V O S. Robos. However it's going, you can you you, you, you can check it out. Um, but the interesting thing is that this the, the white guy you got the thing, th- th- you know, the African guy, whatever you want to call him, and the and the and the and the native guy, the, the black guy, they basically uh, the, uh, when when the, when the guy first had the uh, idea, they basically built the cars from the beginning, the the the, the train cars, you know, they actually the guy was driven from the beginning. Let's call him Joe, and so Joe was there from the beginning, you know, so they're like. Boom, 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 boom. You know, it's interesting back then. Uh, it's like a, a Christian Bernard and and the, and the black guy that did the actual operations. And, anyway, the, in tandem. Um, uh, and so, what, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so what's interesting is the guy, Joe, to, to say the train, I won't say train captain. He's in charge of everything, right? And so, uh, uh, in, in the uh, caboose car, you know, people, that's what they drink, and, then, and, then, and people eventually go to bed. I'm a, you know, I'm a 24-hour person. So I ended up, maybe it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, it was just me and Joe, you know. And I was just very curious, man. I'm going like, wow. I say, hey, 
how do you do this? I see, I see you working. I see how this thing works. It's like a, you have the best food. You have the best, uh, the best service. Da, da, da. How does this? And I see you running the thing. You know, you got to run the staff. I just, I say, wow, this is just amazing, you know. And so, and remember, it's just me and him in the caboose car. I didn't know it at the time, but they got to stay up. As long as I stay up, they got to stay. I didn't, I didn't know it at the time, you know, but. I realized in some particular point, I said, hey, he's got to go to sleep because he's got to get up early. He's going to get up early in the night. Well, nobody gets up early in the night. That's not the point. So I said, well, how do you do it? And, you know, and he says, well, I'll tell you. Because uh, oh, oh, the trip I took was from Cape Town. Oh, it's a two-leg. I was going to uh, Victoria Falls or whatever the, the autochthonous people call it. What's the real name is up there? You know, uh, Zimbabwe and, and, and Zambia. Oh, the Zambia side is the best side, by the way. Just let, let you know that. So, um, so the, the leg is you go from Cape Town to Pretoria, and then, they, then you have a uh, night rest or whatever it is, and then you go from Pretoria to Pretoria Falls. And all, it's a three days, you know, three days, three days, three days. And, uh, you know, all, in between, you're going so far, you get that. But we got to uh, Kimberley, you know, the, the, the museum was closed, but they opened it just for us, you know, that kind of thing. You go to you know, a little safari, all that stuff. Yeah, you know, regular stuff. Anyway, I was interested in the train more than I was interested in all this other extracurricular activity. So I said, well, how do you, how do you do it? He said, well, I'll tell you what I do. He said, I look at this as a play, as a Shakespeare play. Man, you could have knocked me over with a feather, with an ostrich feather. You could have knocked me over with some kind of feather. Because I'm going like, I don't know if I've been doing audio drama, uh, well, live audio drama since 1986. I mean, before, but anyway, the point is, and then, so they went to and then, and then, and then, like 20 years later, this guy tells me this thing. And my mind was like, Phew. I said, of course, what's the matter? I should recognize it. Because what happens in audio drama to me, plays, you know, the whole world is a stage kind of thing, is that anything, if I want anything that I want to address, that I want to, uh, whatever, I can put it in an audio drama and test it out there. I can... Uh, any situation, whether it's, I use audio drama now for, for as a literacy program and as a community development thing, not village development, as a community development thing. And so, but anything that happens, you know, you, 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 you stage it because the world is, a, you know, I'll give you, a, 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 I know a couple of days ago was the uh, American, was the, uh, what do you call that, uh, the U.S. politics. But, you know, when Trump, Went, went down, but he got up with his fist down like that, like that. Uh, look, it was real. It was an automatic thing because he's tr he's trained to understand, you know, to do his, he's trained for his crowd, his whatever. So his, he had an automatic reaction. You, you see, people say it was staged, whatever. I don't care about it. I mean, it was an automatic reaction. You expect somebody, you wouldn't expect somebody like, like Joe Biden to do something like that. You see? But what I'm trying to say is he, you have these automatic reactions. And so for me, audio drama, a lot of stuff I do, it's like an autumn. Every place I look, when I look at something, I say, how can I do an audio drama here? What's the script I can write here? It's, it's a constant thing. I have a, my, my brain in my head. I const, I'm constantly writing audio dramas. I'm constantly figuring out how am I going to, how is, how, how is this going to be staged? And that's the, actually it's a problem too. Because sometimes I'll be talking to people and tell you the truth, I'll be messing with them. I'll be saying stuff just to get what their reaction is because that person's a character and that character, well, what they say is going to eventually end up in an audio drama. I'm just saying. I'm dangerous that way. So a lot of times people take me seriously. You shouldn't take me seriously. <laughs> you should not take me seriously because I'm always writing. I'm in my head, I'm having dialogues, you know, how this person would sound. I'm looking at places. How can I do an audio drama here? How can I do the dee dee da 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 that's what, um, I guess what you would say, audio drama is a, it's a bigger thing. In other words, if you have a, a purpose in life, it's, to me, it's the biggest thing. I, it, 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 it's the thing, I won't say it keeps me going, but it's, it's beyond me. And I can never satisfy it. So I can never get bored. I can, you know, it's, it's just an amazing thing, you know. So if, for instance, uh, I have this thing, I follow Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., and um, a follow. I, 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 uh, I'm an acolyte of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And his whole thing is to get rid of racism and or, or, or to produce justice. So to produce justice, you have to get rid of racism. You know, and if you get rid of racism, you got to re re replace it with something that would be justice. So how do I do that? I look at audio drama as the vector, as the, as the, as the way to do that. So 
So though my goal, my purpose, my mission, you know, on this planet at this particular point uh, and wealth for, for a long time is to change circumstances of the South Bronx was, was un unjust, or to change unjust circumstances. How do you do that? And I say to do it, you got to uh, put a situation in, in, in place where people can see the, the results of what you're trying to do. Seeing the results would be the audio drama part. But what, 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 what they want them to see is how you can live in a world without racism, a world that the, of justice, justice meaning uh, that no one is mistreated, as Miller Fuller would say. And those that are affected, uh, they get the most compre uh, the, uh, comprehensive, the most, uh, uh, you know, you yeah, know, most comprehensive uh, uh, solution possible to move to move us past the, the, the injustices, the the unfairness, the whatever it is uh, uh, that is. And so, I use audio drama as the as a as a factor, as a test tube, as a as a thing to see if it works in audio drama, it can work in the real world. See, if it works on the stage, it can work in the real world. So. I think uh, that Robo's real thing, when he said that, it was amazing because it was, I can't explain it. It doesn't make any sense to you, but it makes sense to me. I'm going like, oh, this is, this invalidates. Oh, that's what, everything that I do and that you should do should validate your point of view. Let me end it there. Talk to you another time. All right? Okay. Bye.